Rewind back to 2014. A game titled Lords of the Fallen hit the shelves. Back then, it was considered a somewhat mediocre Dark Souls lookalike, before Souls-like even blossomed into its own thriving genre. And yes, if you could overlook its clunkiness and a few hiccups here and there, the game held its own charm. But here we are, in 2023, and we're looking at a whole different Lords of the Fallen. A complete and total reboot of the franchise. With its timeline set 1000 years after the previous game, and a different developer team steering the ship now. It's best to think of this as a brand new game, despite the recycled name. So now, let's get into the details of this reboot. Despite our very limited glimpse into the gameplay, it's safe to say that this reboot has already set high expectations, thanks to its stunning graphics, revamped combat, terrifyingly brilliant boss designs and a larger, more immersive interconnected world. Now, the revamped combat part is desperately needed, because combat in the first game wasn't exactly fast-paced. In fact, some weapons felt so slow it felt like you were playing the game in slow motion. This time, however, we are talking trick weapons, Bloodborne-style dodges and dynamic, impactful, fast-paced combat and animations, giving the overall gameplay a much-needed upgrade from its predecessor. And it doesn't stop there. Stepping up the game with Unreal Engine 5, the developers have truly pushed it this time. We are talking all the good stuff Unreal Engine 5 has to offer. Incredibly high-resolution textures that provide extraordinary levels of micro-detail. And lighting effects that are photorealistic thanks to the Lumen Global Illumination System. Characters are based on 3D scans of real people, with the option to dynamically morph in the character creator for remarkable personalization. What's pretty impressive is that all armor models automatically seamlessly adapt to a chosen body type. All this, coupled with the dark fantasy setting and its gorgeous art direction, really should make the game feel much more alive, immersive and authentic than the first one. From the brief clips we've seen so far, the bosses look nothing short of incredible and may well be on par with Elden Ring's bosses when it comes to art design, intimidation and sheer epicness. We can clearly see the level of dedication and hard work put into them. Yes, they are running on Unreal Engine 5, but it's more than just a technical prowess on display here. In Lords of the Fallen, you'll traverse an interconnected world more than five times larger than the original game, embodying a fabled Dark Crusader on a quest to overthrow Edir, the Demon God. You'll journey across two parallel realms, Axiom and Umbral. The living realm of Axiom holds its own set of brutal challenges, while untold terrors are lurking in Umbral, the nightmarish realm of the dead. These two realms are seamlessly interconnected, adding another layer to the dark fantasy world. As mentioned before, this reboot includes a character creator feature that was missing in the first game. With a wide area of visual options, you can really make your character unique. Now there are 9 classes to choose from to further shape your experience, and much like Elden Ring or Dark Souls, you can choose a combat style with both melee and magic at your disposal. This time you can also invite a second player to join you as a co-op partner, but other players will then also be able to invade your world featuring an invader system that sounds similar to what we have in Elden Ring and Dark Souls. Now it's time to mark your calendars. The Lords of the Fallen reboot is coming out on October 13, which is a Friday by the way. It's coming to PC, PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles. And that pretty much sums up the key details we currently have about Lords of the Fallen. Personally, I'm pretty excited for the game. I mean, it's pretty hard not to be excited about an Unreal Engine 5 Souls-like. I do think it's important though that we keep our expectations in check and wait until we see more raw gameplay footage before even thinking about jumping on the hype train. But in any case, let me know in the comments what you think of the new Lords of the Fallen. That's it from me anyways. I'll see you next time or in the comments below.